Um, right, and we're going to talk Londoners. We're going to talk about a thousand of them indeed, because there's been a project called A Thousand Londoners, which is basically that. It's to make little films about a thousand of our fellow Londoners. Um, and they're holding a series of a series of thousand Londoners movie nights where you can go and see some of these films. You can see lots of these films online, but this is a chance to go and see them in cinemas and in context. And here to tell us more about it is the co-founder of the Thousand Londoners events, Mark Curry. Mark, welcome to BBC London. Thank you ever so much, Robert. Let's go back to the sort of beginning of this project. Where did it all start? It all started when we wanted to paint a portrait of the city. Uh, we wanted to basically paint a representative film portrait of the city as we know it and the city in every single one of its wonderful differences. And who's we? Who was behind all uh, this? Chocolate Films, which is the company that I run with my partner, Rachel Wang. Right. And... Um, and we, you know, it's a film production company. We make factual content, factual yeah. films, and documentaries. And uh, we raised some money, and we started the project. And the project is about as democratic as it possibly could be. We're getting people from all over the city to make their own films, as well as us making ours. And already, we've had everybody from Nick Sorota, the, um, the director of Tate, to um, to home, uh, a homeless woman called Sarah Luke in the Strand, to uh, Josh Brandon, who's today who is London's highest paid male escort. Wow! <laughs> so it really. Is- is of a, a huge cross section of people. How many have you done so far? Do you know? Today is 115, and we've got some more kind of ready to go as well. And some of the ones that we've got most ready to go are actually going to be screened in these three screenings over the month of November. So they haven't been online yet. They're brand new content. Okay. And how long does the whole project take? How long before you get to a thousand? Do you reckon? Uh, when we first came up with the idea, we thought it would take three years. Right. When we launched it, we thought it would take five. I think it's probably going to take about six or seven now. <laughs> but as I say, 115 <laughs> down, and uh, you know we're we're on our way and. Uh, um, and to be honest, I don't think it, we, we really mind if it takes a little bit longer because we want to get into every single community, every single part of life. One, w- where can people see these normally? Because they're up online, some of them, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, a lot of them are and they come out regularly, you know, once or twice a week. Um, they're on a thousandlondoners.com. And uh, they're also on youtube.com slash a thousand Londoners. Um, but yeah, but this month they're going to be in the tiniest little indie cinemas across the city. So uh, so tonight, for example, they're starting at the Hackney Attic. Where's the Hackney? Uh, the Hackney Empire, I know. The Attic, I'm less... Well, <laughs> the less Hackney so Attic is with. part of the picture house, but it's okay. uh, it's like the tiny little cinema as part of the picture house. Um, but we're also going to be at the Exhibit Ballam tomorrow night, uh, Deptford Cinema on Wednesday, Stowe Film Lounge up in Walthamstow on Thursday, and Hotel Elephant in Elephant Castle on Friday. We're not getting that far west, but we're trying to cover as much of London as we can. So are you showing the same films at each of these cinemas? How does it work? This week we're showing the same screening programme at each of them. Right. And what this screening programme contains is a bunch of short films about different diverse Londoners. So you've got some... And this, this screening this week's screen is called Nightcrawlers. Right. And Nightcrawlers, are basically, it's a journey through the night in London. So we have everything from, you know, vaguely well-known local characters like the garage DJ Uncle Doug's, the jungle DJ Uncle Doug's, to uh, Tim Arnold, who's like the leader of the Save Soho yep. campaign. But you also get some some characters who you wouldn't know. Margaret, who's an amateur astronomer who lives in a top floor flat in Soho. Or Sam Moyo, who is the woman who set up the one, London Wonderland. Um, what Wonderground, which is, um, sorry, Morning Gloryville, what am I talking right. about? Uh, which is early morning clubbing. Uh, or Maddock, who has set up a thing called... Um, which is all about secret experiences in the middle of the night. And he's taking a whole group of people swimming on the Thames at like two o'clock in the morning. Wow. So it's literally this massive journey through the night with some really fantastic characters in there. So you'll be screening some of these these three minute documentaries but you're also putting other things and you're sort of putting them in context a bit. oh god absolutely i mean this is all part of britain on film which is a thing set up by the bfi in film london and uh, we've got some beautiful beautiful old archive films with new soundtracks um which are from the London Screen Archives. Right. So, uh, you know, we've got um, a procession going down the Thames. We've got Piccadilly um, Circus at night in the 60s. Wow. So basically from when you come in to, to when you leave, you're going to be starting in the early evening and going all the way through to six o'clock in the morning over different decades. How long does the actual e- event last? How long is the, the evening of films? There's the probably going to be about 40 minutes of, of films. And then after that, there's going to be a little Q&A. And some nights there's going to be filmmakers there. Some nights the different Londoners are going to come along. And it's going to be kind of, you know, it's going be very informal very friendly because also that discussion at the end is just as important because we're always looking for new Londoners right um, you know in, in, next week we're not doing volunteers th- or victims or whatever they are uh, contributors is what we call them <laughs> but victims if you like volunteers if you like so you, well, basically you know you'll watch the screening and you'll think well you know there's nobody that represents this or there's nobody that represents that or I know somebody who they've missed and that's what we want to that's what we want to hear about um, 
This is the first of a series of these, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, this is this week, and then we're going to the same cinemas in two weeks' time for a screening called Easy Riders. And that screening... Is, is that cyclists? It's cyclists. It's motorcyclists. Right. We've got uh, Dick in Croydon, who is a Triumph motorcycle uh, customizer. We've got Isabel in Brixton, who turns her wheelchair into a bicycle and cycles to work every day. Um We've got Charlotte doing critical mass on a Friday night at the end of the month. So literally we're trying to do the whole kind of cycling and motorcycling uh, subculture there as well. And that will be two weeks hence. That's two weeks hence. And then the week after that, it gets a little bit darker because we're doing Fight Club. Ah, We're doing London's Fight Club. We have got John Jasinski, a Polish um, MMA fighter on his first... What's MMA? I don't know what that is. uh, It's mixed martial arts. Mixed martial arts. It's cage fighting at the Troxy. Um, We've got Christina, who is... um, one of the London roller girls doing roller derby down in, in Bermondsey. Uh, we've got a 32nd generation Shaolin monk from Tufnell Park. No. Uh, yeah, there is, a, yeah, you may not know that. Um, and, and Paolo, who is a gold medal winning, um, Olympic medal winning boxer up in, um, up in Tottenham, who now trains kids at um, a youth club in Tottenham. So we've got, we're, we're literally trying to get every single story from the city. We're trying to, to hunt down as many interesting people and everybody is interesting. If someone thinks either that, that they'd like to make a film or they think there's someone that you should be making a film about, how do you go about kind of suggesting that? What's the mechanism, if you like? The best thing to do is to go on to a thousandlondoners.com yeah. and there's a bit called Get Involved. Right. And you can write to us there and just get involved there. Or the other great thing to do is to come along to one of these screenings and just talk to... There's going to be somebody there from the project every single evening and talk to us. We're actively looking for films about dog owners at the moment because we're right. going to be soon doing a screening about... Uh, well, you need Joe about, Good for that. Well, yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> she's, you know, she, she, she's the absolute doyen of, of dog owners. I mean, it's... Yeah, exactly. Well, that, I mean, that's exactly what we want. But we've all... I mean, we've We've got a couple already. We've got Antonia, who is a couture fashion designer from Chelsea, who owns two beautiful dogs, but also owns two pigs, who she also walks in Chelsea. <laughs> um, we, we've also got Jen, who lives on a houseboat with her dog. So, you know, we've got a really fantastic bunch of people, but we're always looking for new ideas, new contributions. And it isn't just about London's most sort of outlandish characters, is it? Because it's, if you're, if you're going to get a real cross section, you have to get or very ordinary people in inverted commas I mean who's ordinary but you know what I mean it's no gone. absolutely I mean that, that's that's one of the things because basically when I kind of give one line about each of the things it always sounds like we're kind of looking for the different people but then when you get to the fight club one you know we've got Elle who is uh, who's a, a teenage uh, martial arts student uh, over in West London who's doing martial arts in her spare time and that was, that film was actually made by a bunch of students as well um, we've literally got people from every single walk of life and we're looking for we, yeah, we're not just looking for the outlandish, we're looking for every kind of story. And some of the softest, some of the gentlest stories are actually some of the ones that we love most on the side. Okay, tell us two things. Tell us where people can find the information, first of all, about the movie night. So this is where you're screening some of these films on themed kind of evenings and you've got Q&As afterwards and all of that. Give us the information where, where, or where people can find the information about those. If you go into thousandlondoners.com yeah. and go onto the blog, it's all there. Or you can go onto the websites of the Hackney Attic, the Exhibit Ballam, Deptford Cinema, Stowe Film Lounge or Hotel Elephant. It's seven o'clock every night this week um, in each of those places and it's five pounds. Right. And, and then for the general stuff about the Thousand Londoners project, website address for that. 1000londoners.com or youtube.com slash 1000londoners and today is the 115th so we've got plenty of space to go